this is Andy Scott with North Shore Apartments and Condos. I'm walking into 618 and a half Sheridan, number three south. This is a really nice, super clean, remodeled, but a little bit smaller one bedroom. You can see you have the beautiful floors. Basically, I should start out by saying we're walking into a big living room. We have windows that face the east or towards the lake in the courtyard. You see the big radiator. As we go down, we see the living room is not a true rectangle, but it is a large room. You can hear my voice sort of echo. As we pan across, we have a dining area and the kitchen to our right, which you just see a little bit of. We also have a ceiling fan uh, in the living room, and you can see the finish on this apartment is flawless. As we walk towards the dining area, you see we have a, actually a, quite a big room. It's probably 12 by uh, 10 with the uh, kitchen, and the kitchen is new to the right. Now before we uh, look at the kitchen more completely, let's take another look at the living room. And we'll follow it. You can see now the uh, goes in a little bit. That area there can be used as a closet, but we find most people use it as a workstation. So there is an internet connection. Again, you have beautiful hardwood floors throughout. If we look out the uh, the window, you see the courtyard, we're facing east, and we're about a half a block from the lake. Turning around and looking at the dining area, we see the dining area is really quite a big space. And there's the front door, and we see just the sliver of the bedroom. Before we go into the dining room, we're going to explore this little workstation area. I don't know if you can see that, but there's an outlet there. There's a uh, coaxial cable here, so you can hook up to the internet. This is easily three feet deep, maybe more, and probably about four and a half, five feet long. So you can put a good-sized desk in here, and lighting, and other things. Printer. Uh, there's first glimpse at the back. So it's really a nice space that can be used as a closet but probably more effectively as something else. From the closet area, we look back at the front door, we see we have quite a bit of space. Now in total, I called it a smaller one bedroom because it doesn't really have a true dining room. What you have is this dining area. These windows are facing west. Um, like I said, this is probably about a 12 by 10 dining area with a remodeled kitchen and the back door leads to laundry and storage. So let's explore the kitchen for a second. We have a terrific, and this, uh, I think this is one year old stove. It might be brand new though. Yeah, it is brand new. There are no burn marks. It's completely new, squeaky clean, very nice. Above, we have a brand new microwave. That's a, a super nice looking microwave. A little bit smaller, but it's, uh, like I say, super nice. We have a tile backsplash, more like a mosaic tile, which is very nice. A rock countertop. This could be quartz rather than granite. It's got a fine, instead of being coarse, it's very fine. So that's really nice. Brand new, so the water pressure is awesome. Have a hose attachment with spray thing there. Really nice. The cabinet space is good. These are probably three feet high with uh, three shelves. The shelves are about 11 inches deep. Uh, very good cabinet space. And again, everything is brand new. And then you have a smaller cabinet next door, whoops. But it's the same height and depth. Over the microwave, you just have some uh, smaller shelving area, but it is available to be used. And really I have seen people put 
And other apartments put the things on top of the cabinets, so there's a little extra storage up there. Underneath the countertop, we have a new, um, really very super clean, brand new dishwasher. The thing about the uh, stainless steel interior is it's better insulation and will be quieter. We have drawers next to the dishwasher, very helpful. The lower two are a little bit deeper and can store a little bit more stuff, which is nice. We showed you the water pressure. We know everything is brand new, and there you see the paper with it. So that can be used to store it as well. And again, it shows beautifully. So the refrigerator is probably six feet one, so it's tall. Um, fits the kitchen beautifully. And there you have the chill drawer, the fresh drawer, some shelves, more shelves on the right and underneath. We have more drawers in the freezer. So there's storage in the freezer. I'll just pull one out for you. So you can see, and this allows you to organize your freezer rather than to just pile it in. So that's really nice. So the kitchen is really kind of special. You see the stainless steel fridge, the very nice cabinets, unique microwave, full-size stove, and a super nice dishwasher, some more storage, and maybe it's either granite or quartz countertop with a stainless steel sink. If we look out the back, we see the backs of our neighbors. There's an alley behind us. We're on the third floor, though, and if we look forward, We'll pivot to the kitchen, uh, to the, yeah, to the kitchen, the appliances, and then we'll go around. And you can see the finish is really super nice here. We have an interesting fixture as well. So again, the back door will lead to laundry and storage. Living room, super nice. And that will take us, before we get to the bedroom, which you're looking into, we have a closet, which is a linen closet, and it's really pretty big storage. It's got to be three and a half or more feet across, pretty close to uh, probably 20 inches deep. We have a couple of cubby holes up there, which is just space. Uh, but here we have shelves, and a lot of them, maybe seven shelves, three and a half or more feet deep by about 18 inches. I mean, deep, three and a half feet wide by about 18 inches deep. <clears throat> okay, here's the bath. The bath is like the kitchen. It's been completely remodeled. Looks great. See the light fixture up there? Second light fixture over the uh, mirror, pedestal sink, tank toilet, beautiful new tiles, uh, beautiful new backsplash. We're facing west, so we get a lot of light. The shower head is probably about six feet, two inches high. Um, if I spin around and look this way, you see an outlet, you can get a better look at the uh, toilet. And it's a Kohler sink. We have a uh, medicine cabinet behind the mirror. You see the TP. We'll check the water pressure which we already know will be good, but it trains nicely. Take a closer look at the tile backsplash, and you can see it's all very new. So that's nice. The tub is super clean. I'm going to check the water pressure here. So that certainly sounds good. And that's just the hot water. Whoops, it is. And you can see that we're getting a nice stream. And that it's draining beautifully. So I'm going to turn this off. That's a daisy. And I'll just back it up so you can see the kitchen, uh, no, rather the bath again. You do have a towel rod there and another towel hanger there. Very nice fixtures. 
Beautiful tile work in the backsplash in the floor. Good water pressure, tank toilet, pedestal sink. So we come out of the kitchen, the kitchen, the bathroom, and we look at a good sized bedroom. Again, the finish is really nice and the walls are sort of a slate blue, which is much better than the pure white, I think. It does not look like you're moving into a hospital. We do have an air conditioner in the window. The previous tenant left that. I don't think that comes with the apartment. I don't think it's built into the lease, uh, but it looks newer. So it will definitely work for a couple of years for sure. Um, nice ceiling fan. I'm gonna walk in. This is certainly big enough for, probably could fit a king size bed, but it's perfect for a um, queen size bed. So we are facing west, the windows are facing west. In front of us, we see the bedroom uh, closets. You see the upper uh, cabinets are just open space and can be used pretty much for anything. The lower closet area is contiguous. So even though you have three doors, it is just one big space. I'm gonna open it up here and show you Maybe the floor is the best way to show you. That is just one big closet area. So this has got to be at least eight feet by two feet deep. Has a hanging bar and a shelf. I mean, you can, that's a big closet. Plus you have the space above. So very good storage. And I'm just gonna close one of the doors. If I step in, you get a sense of the size of the room. It's really a good size room with a lot of natural light. And again, we have a ceiling fan. So there's the bedroom. There are outlets on every wall, by the way. Come across, there was the linen closet, freshly remodeled bathroom, what I call a workstation area. A very good sized living area, again with a ceiling fan. Third floor, lots of privacy, good natural light. Beautiful kitchen, new kitchen, dining area. And that brings us to the front door. Thanks for watching.